right, Nicole, hey, congratulations being here at San Diego Comic-Con for the Tim Travers movie. I mean, how does it feel for being here this year? Oh, it feels amazing, seriously. I mean, the whole, the whole film is such a wild, fun ride. Uh, the whole group that I'm here with is an incredible group. And, uh, you know, audiences when we've been at screenings have just been laughing, loving it. It's, it's a good time. I was, I was going to say, because, you know, a film like this went through the uh, film festival circuit for, um, briefly, and Comic-Con is a, an entirely different beast in its own way, but kind of fitting in its own way because of the genre. Oh, 100%. The different theories that the uh, time traveler in it, uh, Tim, tests will get any sci-fi nerd going because he has multiple that he will either quickly rule out or begin to test, and... Uh, Along the way, he ends up making multiple different versions of himself, which are all there together with him. Um, so I think anybody who is interested in sci-fi, dark comedy, will love it, absolutely. So tell, tell, about, tell us about your path onto this project. How did, how did that actually came about? Yeah, so actually I've worked at um, worked on multiple projects with the director, Stimson Sneed, and um, he had kind of mentioned this project. It was actually a pretty quick turnaround when everything started happening. And so um, I had two different roles on this project. I produced uh, the LA shoot and then I also uh, was the bartender in it. She uh, has multiple different interactions with all the wild characters in it and all the mischief that Tim Travers gets into just somehow makes its way to her. She has a really bad day. There's a lot of really bad things that happen to her uh -huh. in a very comical way. Comedy comes natural for you? Oh, yes. I absolutely love comedy. Uh, I love comedy and I love, uh, you know, any role where I get blood on my face. So that may or may not happen to the bartender. Mm -hmm. Just a hint. <laughs> but, but, but the producing role is, 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 is your, your main full-time job, actually. Um, so I actually do both producing and acting. Uh -huh. um, so when I've met Stimson before on other projects, uh, usually I'm an actor with him. Oh, okay. um, but then I've also produced work that he's uh, been on as well. So we, uh, we have like a great history of making work together and love to continue doing it. Mm. What do you love about doing indie projects like this? Oh my gosh. I think the massive amount of creativity that has to be involved with indie projects is so awesome. Plus at the end of the day, like everybody is a like everyone becomes a family, not even in the cliche sense, like legitimately. You're just you're on set for a while with people, you're problem solving together, you're uh, going through all the different just like wonderful creative things that you can be doing on set together and at the end of the day you end up making a really amazing project and memory with each other. Well said. What's up next? What's up next? Um, so I am uh, co-producing a feature that's going to film in Montreal in September and October. And then I have uh, my own short also on the festival circuit. Sounds awesome. Well, have fun today, right? Thank you so much. Thank you.